Hey everyone, this is Teresa Banda with Texas Hands and Voices, and today we're going to talk about effective communication for persons who are deaf and hard of hearing. We have nine tips that we're going to share with you today, and I hope that you will find one or two that might help you along your journey when raising your children and or communicating with another adult who may be deaf or hard of hearing. Let's begin. Effective communication. What does that look like? Well, effective communication for deaf and hard of hearing persons is paramount for ensuring that everyone is included and can understand what is being said. The following tips are not a one size fits all, but a collection of tips that can be used in varying situations. Tip number one, everyone has a preferred way of communicating, so find out what that is. Ask if they need any communication support, and if so, find out what it is. Ask, do you need ASL American Sign Language? Do you prefer lip reading? Do you prefer listening and spoken language? Do you prefer total communication? Do you use cued speech? Well, it's as easy as that. You just have to ask. Tip number two, get the person's attention. This is so important and it's so easy. You can wave at the person or you can even tap them lightly on the shoulder. Before you begin any conversation, get that person's attention. Tip number three, this again is so important when communicating with a deaf or hard of hearing individual. You want to face the person when you're talking to them. Make sure the person you are trying to communicate with can see your face. Don't look away. Always look directly at the person and don't cover your mouth when communicating. Tip number four, be responsive. Use body language. Nod instead of saying, hmm. Use gestures body language and facial expressions to assist communication. However, don't be overly dramatic. Tip number five, speak clearly and naturally. Deaf or hard of hearing people may lip read, so speak normally. Speaking too slowly or loudly doesn't make lip reading any easier. It may actually distort what you're trying to say. Tip number six, in a group setting, it's important to have communication rules, like everyone takes turns speaking, don't talk over one another, reduce background noise, good lighting, and always use a qualified interpreter. Tip number seven, virtual group settings. The same rules apply, but we'll add one more. In a virtual meeting, you should introduce yourself each time you begin to communicate. You can say something like, this is Teresa, and then begin sharing your thoughts or opinions. This ensures that captioning identifies the individual who is speaking or presenting. The deaf, hard of hearing person can then better identify who is commenting during the conversation. Let's go over those rules again. Identify yourself before speaking or presenting. Everyone takes turns speaking or presenting. Don't talk over one another, reduce background noise, good lighting, use a qualified ASL interpreter. Tip number eight, use a qualified interpreter. It is imperative that a professionally trained interpreter be used in situations where language barriers are preventing communication from taking place. If a professional interpreter is not used, it leaves room for misunderstandings that could, could cause harm, all because of a language barrier. Now, obviously, we're talking about how to communicate effectively with deaf and hard of hearing individuals. But this also applies to individuals who may speak other languages. So it's really important that we also consider using a qualified interpreter anytime another person is having a language barrier, whether they speak Spanish or, or German or some other language, it's really important that we try to find a qualified interpreter to assist 
um, with any meeting or any conversation that might be happening. Tip number nine, technology. If you weren't aware, iPhones now have auto captions. So this is something that you can try to add to your Apple iPhone if you have a model 11 or later and you've had the latest iOS 16 update. There are also other options for auto captions um, using different kinds of apps that may be available to your Android or iPhone. So be sure to look for those. Some are free, some are not. But this is another way that you can use technology to help make your communication more effective. So what is your best effective communication tip? We want you to tell us what number 10 should be. We've purposely left this tip blank or free because we want you to tell us what your best communication tip is. So we'll be waiting to hear from you. Thank you for supporting Texas Hands and Voices. Please visit our website at www.txhv.org if you would like to learn more about Texas Hands and Voices. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.